Hello everyone, Ryan Pavey here from Baird & Warner. I'm today at 32991 North Stone Manor Drive in Grays Lake. Large property over three floors. It's on the market for 360,000. Let's have a look at my walkthrough video. Just come inside 32991 North Stone Manor Drive in Grays Lake. Really nice neighborhood of similar homes. Um, it's really coming down with snow outside. Um, so. I haven't been out there to take any video. I'm, I'm really going to focus on the inside today. Um, we've got this kind of main foyer here, stairs going up and down on the other side of that wall there. But firstly, off to the left here, got a really nice formal dining room. Can imagine Christmas, Thanksgiving in here. It's got some nice features like that bay window. and the coffered ceiling. Really special place to uh, have dinner with the family. Off to the left here, you've got the laundry. There's a door into the garage there. Garage, sorry. Cabinets, washer dryer, and something a lot of clients that I work with want in their laundry, a sink. So let's go through into the main living area. Cold day like this. There's a nice welcoming fireplace in the living room. Got a summer room out there and deck off to the left and then stairs down to the back of the house. Really nice views out of the back of your home here. Probably a great view, whatever season. If I turn around and look back across the space, you can see the kitchen over there. This is a big room. I can't get into the corner because there's a piece of furniture behind me. But the couch and the chairs are set back away from the, uh, the fireplace. But you could actually have this set up with a uh, dining table over there by that window. It's open above. And you can see there's skylights that bring in more light here as well. If we have a look at the kitchen, there's loads of cabinets. Loads of storage space, a nice bar area there for breakfast. This would make quite a nice little coffee station. Stainless steel appliances. There's the dishwasher and the view back across into the living room. If I come back out into the hallway that we came in, there's the stairs going up. But before we go anywhere else, we do have a main floor master here. There's a little half bath off to the right before we go in, which is for the people who are hanging out on the main floor to use. But then this master, if I come in, again, plenty of light, turn round. It's a really nice size, really nice size. Through there, you've got the master bath and I'll walk through in there because you've got a soaking tub with jets again cold day like this jump straight in the bath and uh, warm up a little bit here I am with the double vanity shower toilet is off to my right here through its own door. And then if I pull back this pocket door, you can see got a really big walk-in wardrobe. All right, let's head back out. And then before we go upstairs to the bedrooms, I'm gonna go downstairs to the lower level where there's more, more living space. Really is a deceptively large house, this. And what's nice is you can have people hanging out on different levels, depending on what they want to do. This current owners use this as a TV room and it makes a really good TV room too, because it's a nice size, nice wall there to get the big screen TV on. Big room here. If I come over here, look back 
can see you've got a bar area there, bathroom beyond, that's a full bath beyond. And then a fourth bedroom, office, good size again. It's been used as a playroom, which I think makes a lot of sense. You can just imagine the kids that lived here or living here right now, doing activities there at that, that desk. Loads of storage behind this door that goes all the way around the side of the house to this door. And then as I say, you've got a full bath in here with shower. All right, let's go all the way up to the top of the house. Apologies if I make you dizzy whilst I uh, turn around and go up the stairs. It's built in 1999. The taxes are around $10,000. Um, and it's about 3,000 square foot. A little bit more than that, actually, including the basement level. So we have a loft space up here, as soon as you come up. And that overlooks the living room below, where we were earlier. And then here we have two more bedrooms. If I come in here, all the bedrooms are a good size. Access to the bathroom there, which is Jack and Jill, goes through to the other bathroom, but it's double vanity. Closet space on either side. Here's the other side of that Jack and Jill. I've just wandered into the other bedroom up here. Toilet and shower. And then if I walk back this way, we have a closet here. And then another huge bedroom. There really, really is a lot of space in here. I'll come over here to the window. It's overlooking the front of the house here. But then if I look back, you can see loads of living space. Let's go out to that loft area and look over the uh, living room below. I mean, this is a really nice size, probably could be converted into another bedroom as well, or um, a separate room, but I like it open like this. I'm sure you'll agree this is a wonderful home, large enough for any family or whatever your needs are, great place to grow into, and in the summer it's it's going to be wonderful with that summer room and, and the views out the back. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tour and let me know if you have any questions. Thank you very much.